Tony Taylor, a white man, 17 years old, charged with spiritual wrongdoing for performing routine daily prayers to the Founding Fathers, was captured by the pro-union police force of Greenville, Texas today. On their way to the Greenville jail, a mob of citizens overpowered them and took the prison. I saw that scrawny little thing prowling around here looking for passage out. She could use a meal, that one. You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! hey just stop for a minute! Get away from me! Stay away! I just wanna talk to you! Elizabeth! Get away from me! Just hold up for a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as Wait, you! No, no, no! No! Let me go! We got her! There's gotta be another way. They called Slate a monster and a traitor. I know the men who died in all of Heroes with Captain Slate. There is no shame to be counted in their number. The shame lies to we who assembled outside the hall. Though we were not the ones who fell, I feel only envy for those who perished under his banner.
about her already. to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Fitzroy and her anarchist cronies want for you? <laughs> uh, strike, they say. Uh, throw down your tools, they say. Why, I tell you, the moment you do, you will see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you, where are they going to be when it's cold outside and your boy's got the mumps and you've got nothing on your table but regret? D don't you see what the vast popular are selling? They're selling dreams! Dreams, my friend. Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a means to an end. No more. Can you get this open? Come on. Give me something challenging. It's done. Mr. Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know he'll reward you.
be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. going to get into Finkton. Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Booker. The truth is, I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. And old Comstock, well, he does produce. But like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. Well, that's fink timber, a fink hammer, and fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> he needs me, lest he soil his own. Open this. It's done. Over there, a service elevator. It should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. You better stop hiding right now. We hold these troops to be so Smith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. You want to take a look at this? Hmm. Ready. I found some money. Want it?
a lockpick. Grab it. Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. This bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Maybe you should get them. Uh, hello? 
Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. The man's got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. Want to hold on to this? Okay, catch! That'll what do. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Is this striking as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. We get a coal porter here to a half ton of coal from Fink Manufacturing to Shantytown. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? It's now bid 14. We give me 14. 10. 10 minutes bid, not 10. We give me 9. 9. I bid 9. 9 minutes bid, not 9. We give me 8. 9 minutes bid, not 9. 8. Now, Jeremiah Fink has a philosophy. You see, a company is like Noah's Ark. You have the lions, whose purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures. Then you have the cow, the beasts of burden. Now, they provide meat, milk, and labor. And then, well, there are the hyenas, the troublemakers, who only serve to rile up the cow. That poster. There's another cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yes. Hmm. Looks like everything's been pounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. We'll leave you with naught but the sound of their laughter. Here 
gathering a whole mess of funny new ideas. Paid vacation. Eight hour days. Workers' compensation. <laughs> you look like you can enter now. Our anarchist words, my friend.